What are the chances of getting hit by a boat when you're out in the big ocean like that? I suggested to my dad and brother-in-law and uh, you know, niece and nephew uh, that we go take the boat for, for a quick trip. I was you know, fully in, engaged in, in driving the boat and there was a moment where uh, I looked over and saw a group of divers in the water and it was a group that I had already passed. I saw this large hole of a boat headed straight towards me, probably like less than half a second, just braced for some kind of impact. First thing I noticed was this right arm was completely gone. I saw, uh, I looked down, I, I saw my arm on the reef there, and that's when the immediate panic set in. I couldn't really see anything. I started to go under, I was struggling to breathe. I heard Carter screaming. Um, I, heard, I heard screams, um, and I saw a cloud of, of, of blood in the water. And this is a huge tragedy, but out of the tragedy can come something great, and that is now my mission. I was fully alert, I wasn't distracted. Um, I, I wasn't having a conversation with anybody, I wasn't playing with my radio, I wasn't on the phone. I was fully alert, standing up behind the wheel, fully engaged in, in, atten in, in, in attentive, and it still happened. So, it, it can happen anyway. I can't stress this enough, it is just crucial to, to make yourself at least noticeable. Dive flag anything, because it, it's a life or death situation. These newly developed three-dimensional signs you can see from all three sides. It eliminates the possibility that wind can make a, a flag essentially invisible you know, to the eye from, from, di from any distance. Um, so I think you know, by having a just a bigger object in the water you know, that's brightly colored, it, it would be a lot harder to miss, and I feel as, as, as if, if that had been the case that day, this, this never would have happened.